We've seen the fall, the winter, and the spring ants. It is now time for the summer ants. It is already the last season, which means I can finally focus on doing some other fun ant illustration ideas. Not that I wasn't having fun with these seasonal ant illustrations. It was really interesting to take the same scene with the pond and I guess a garden or whatever I wanted to do with that little field area and I guess change it to what the season would bring with activities and what people are doing and things that are growing and it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed taking the same scene and changing it. But these seasonal illustrations are over and like I said, I can start focusing on doing more fun ant illustration ideas like the convention one everyone keeps asking for. I am definitely looking forward to making a convention for ants where I can put lots of fan art and cosplay and all sorts of like pop culture references and just all of these things I don't normally like to put into my illustrations jam packed into an ant illustration. It's going to be so much fun, but until then, let's talk about this summer ant illustration. When making this illustration, I knew that summer meant lots of bugs, not just ants, but all sorts of other bugs. I don't know about you guys, but where I live in Canada, it's not very common for a house or an apartment to have air conditioning. So although it doesn't get too hot too often here in the summer, we definitely have our warmer days. It has reached over 80 the past week, which I know doesn't sound too hot. I am from Tennessee where it definitely reached over 100 Fahrenheit quite often. But you have to remember, I had air conditioning in Tennessee. We don't have air conditioning here. So we definitely have to have all of our windows and doors open to make sure we can get as much of a breeze as we can. I still die, but we try. And unfortunately, we get a lot of bugs that like to come hang out with us in here. So I am definitely familiar with summer meaning more bugs. So my point is, I guess in this little rant is that I wanted to include a lot more bugs that really made this illustration feel like summer. One of the main bugs I included was mosquitoes, which I find their design to be so adorable. I love these guys. I just made them so tall and lanky like they are. I gave them a fluffy little body and I just love their little snouty thing. It's cute. Other bugs I included were a cicada, a lightning bug, and a fly. Of course, I will be asking you guys to find these bugs later on. Because the spring ant illustration was already very green and vibrant, I thought about making this summer ant illustration take place at night instead of during the day. So I thought about playing around with making all the colors a sort of blue and darker tone and just playing around with a lot of orange colors and blue colors and especially making that fire really glow over there. But a future ant illustration that I do want to play around with is playing with a scene during the day and then also playing with that same scene during the night, which I guess is a very similar concept to this season set of illustrations because it's the same scene, but at different times of the year. But for the night and day illustrations, I wanted to sort of play around with color and maybe having more bustling ants and different activities going on as well as playing with the color. I thought that would be a really fun idea to do in the future so I didn't want to go ahead and use that idea for the summer ant illustration so I thought I would just leave it as day and play around with these normal green tones and just make it make it look like the rest of them plus making it nighttime wouldn't make it look like the same as the other ones it would kind of I think it would make it look too different than the other seasons so I didn't want to play around with that too much but I am definitely happy with the outcome of this summer ant illustration I think it definitely captures the feeling of summer Something I really wanted to include was fruit as well as the bugs. When I think summer, I think of fruit. So I did want there to be a watermelon farm over in the corner because even though you think about things growing in the spring, which is what I did for the spring illustration, I did lots of little gardens and flowers and stuff. When it comes to the summer, it is more of the fruit and eating and staying cool. Speaking of eating, I made an ice cream stand 
in all of these illustrations, except for the fall one, I have a little stand where an ant is selling lemonade, hot cocoa, or in this case, ice cream, because I wanted each season to have its own, a snack or just something you buy that represents that season. So of course I made winter have hot cocoa, spring was lemonade, and I don't know about you guys, but when it gets hot outside, all I can think about is ice cream and all I want to do is eat ice cream. I gave all of the ants in the fall illustration little coffee cups, I guess, because it represented the pumpkin spice craze in the fall, but there wasn't a stand. Oops. So there are many little ants that have ice creams or popsicles. And of course we have the big ant in the back. He's having a picnic and he's got an ice cream and a watermelon because that ant, that ant can eat. Something else with ice cream is that with my family, we used to make a lot of homemade ice cream and that just feels very summery to me. I guess I have a lot of memories with ice cream and swimming. I love swimming. I love going to the pool. So I definitely wanted to represent a lot of ants swimming in the pond and having fun. There are also other activities that I think represent summer, like grilling out. We have an ant with a hamburger. We've got a few ants that have fireworks spread around. This was another thing I couldn't do was have the fireworks actually exploding. So I thought it would be just fine to have a few ants holding fireworks ready to blast them off. Because in America we have the holiday 4th of July where everyone buys and shoots off fireworks. Fireworks are just a very nostalgic and summery sort of thing to me, I guess. I would get together with my families a lot and have cookouts and shoot off fireworks and go swimming. And it's just something that I really connect with summer personally. So it was really something that I wanted to include in this summer ant illustration because it's just something that I really think about, I guess, when I think about summer. The beach and fireworks and sparklers and eating ice cream and fruit, water gun fights and water balloons. Just all of these things I used to do as a kid that I don't really do anymore because I'm an adult and I have to work all during the summer and I don't really have that much fun in the summer like I used to. Well, that got kind of depressing. <laughs> Overall, I hope this ant illustration just has that feeling of summer and having fun, and I hope I succeeded. <laughs> All right, here is the list of bugs I want you guys to find. 11 ants wearing sunglasses, 1 bee wearing sunglasses, 7 ants eating ice cream cones, 5 ants eating popsicles, 1 bee eating a popsicle, 3 old ants, 1 fly, and of course, that darn robber ant. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this ant illustration. I hope you have a fun summer break. I wish I had a summer break, but I'm an adult. I have responsibilities. I have work. All right, I will see you in the next video.